To get Android Studio working with the phones, you also need to download the FDC SDK and reinstall the robot controller. So uh, go to github.com and follow this URL to the FTC uh, robot controller app. And in the bottom right, hit download zip. So open the file and extract all, unzip the file. So next you need to go to Android Studio. For this to open up. Well, if you already have Android Studio and it automatically goes to your most recently worked on project, uh, then go to File and then Close Project. But if you open it up and it comes to the Welcome to Android Studio, uh, that's that's much simpler. Yeah, that's what should happen. So click Import Project. And then, yeah, follow the file path down to uh, the FTC App Master. Yeah, so it's in my downloads folder. And yeah, hit this one that has this green uh, circle symbol on it. That's the Gradle symbol. So go for that. And it should say Building FTC App Master Gradle Project Info. It should say Gradle Build. Yeah, so now that it's open, close the tip. This does get a little annoying. Close this. Um, go to Project, and then FTC Robot Controller, uh, Java. Yeah, and all the op modes are here. Yeah, so now you have to connect an Android phone. So I'm going to connect the ZTE speed. And then I'm going to go head over to Run, and then hit Run FTC Robot Controller. So this can take from 10 to 20 seconds. And yeah, here it is. It picked up the ZTE speed, and I'm going to hit OK. And now the FTC Robot Controller app has been reinstalled onto the ZTE Speed. And if a warning pops up that uh, the app is already there on the phone, uh, ignore the warning and select OK to bypass the warning. Because every time you want to add code to the phone, you must reinstall the app. 